A couple Is that the button there. or are we drawing? Still that guys. Still let's go. Let's go. Let's go. From the Lodge Thanks. Mahal in beautiful Austin, Texas, welcome to a very special Monday show. It's the final table of the mini monster. Everyone here has locked up at least 11,000. We'll go around the table in a minute with chip stacks. We've got some colorful characters, and it's going to be a lot of fun today. Remember, this was a $200 buy-in tournament. 5,256 people entered. Actually, 5,256 entries. Some people entered way more than once. Roger with the ladies raises to 2 million. Blinds are 300, 600, 600. So every orbit, you're putting in 1.5 million of your chips into the middle. Rick with ace jack offsuit on hand number one. Naveen in the big blind already has a ton of chips in there, but he decides he doesn't want to put any more in. So we'll go heads up. Roger and Rick, two lodge regulars. Queen still way out in front. Rick looking for one of the remaining aces in the deck. Anastasia in the box, and Brittany is our game host today. We'll have three different dealers throughout the day. Anastasia, Clayton, and final table, Kev. Each of those purple chips is 500K. $2.5 million, about a half-size pot bet. And Roger's going to lay it down, and Rick's going to show. Ooh. Yeah, I was afraid of that. Oh, you bluffed me yesterday. So let that one go. Very close to three betting. Nah. Really good for First part of the day goes to Rick. And the stream. That was bad. So on the stream, they can, uh, the chat box has, like, where you can report that you're tuning in from. Mm -hmm. Roger, seat one, 8.9 million. Andy in seat, seat two, 18.5. Andrew in seat three, 5.6. David in seat four, he is Jacket Man. Couldn't fit Jacket Man in the graphics, but David will be known as Jacket Man. Rick, seat five. Mike, seat six. Naveen, seat seven. Big E in seat eight. And Bill Cox is in seat nine, running nine-handed today. Skull Mike will be joining me momentarily. Roger, again with the pocket pair. This time it's the snowmen. We'll go over chip stacks after this, chip uh, values after this hand. And Cowboys for Andy. Here we go, folks. Like to look at him sideways like that. Kidding. <laughs> Mike, one of the <laughs> big stacks at the table, has a lot to work with with over 30 million. I go there once a year to go salmon fishing. Is it? Is that in the Arctic Circle, or is that? Because I know Ketchikan. I have a it's more north, more to the left. Though. Yeah, I've never been to Ketchikan. Biggie in know. the big blind will lose his. And Big E doesn't have many chips, so Roger's going to lay it down. Still closer to yeah. the top. Oh, yeah. Tournament chips. The big white and red ones, those are 1 million. Purple large chips are 500K. Red chips are 100K. A lot of fishing down there. For sure. I don't really do it. You know? <laughs> but I hear stories. There's the payouts up top, 112 grand, folks, on a $200 buy-in. I might even get ridiculed for my fold, but they're going to give me hell about it at the game. Guarantee was 400,000. 
The initial prize pool was 840000 There were day one payouts and double bag bonuses of about 125000 So the prize pool today going into day two was 714000 yesterday. And here we go. Skull Mike will join me right now. Skull. Afternoon, Rick. Final table action. That furry thing you see at the bottom of the screen, that's Bill Cox's hat. Just looking at the jacket. Jacket man. He's got to win this, right? <laughs> How many chips does Jacket Man have? <clears throat> Bill, in the big blind. Surprised he got here uh, on time after his hair appointment this morning, Bill. <laughs> Been in the salon all morning. The new salon boy. There's a king for Bill. And Mike's going to continue to fire. Bill not going anywhere out of the big blind, not buying that chip leader. One of the chip leaders here has an ace, doesn't, it's just queen high. Mike is dead to a 10. I think yesterday he hit a one outer yeah, with the same 10. He's got a lot of chips and he can apply a lot of pressure to Bill's stack here with the double barrel. And he's loading up the chamber. It's not a buck. Put it over the line, Mikey. Let's go. Can't carve out the chips like that and then check it. Put it over the line. Right, there you go. A little delayed carve out. Looks like a fire. Million. Yeah, but Bill can't continue. Or can he? He won't. Nice bet from Mike. Unless you had it. No, with queen it. high. <laughs> with the board like that, how couldn't I have it? All right. I might have been good there. <laughs> So some fun facts about the tournament. We believe one person bought in 29 times for this tournament. Rick, just tell me it was you, man. <laughs> it was not I me. I saw you in here every single day for the past three weeks. It wasn't you? Yeah. It was not me. Yeah, maybe it's that same tournament. I mean, like last year. Yoda and VW Bug, our great moderators. How y'all doing? In the place, I was on the stream. Everyone got to watch me lose. Uh, not see me get to the... Was it the same sort of deal, like 200 bucks for... Uh, I think that one was 400, right? That was 400. Yeah. Gotcha. Well, there's Jacket Man, <laughs> otherwise known as David. He's Nobody. Knows he brought that. his jacket. When I when I got to the, it's, just, the it's like Superman's cape. Stacked, I was like, they just must. Did like he say anything about it when he came oh, in yeah. today? Oh yeah. <laughs> he knew all about it. Where you are now, yeah. Right? yeah. We make stars here. Was texting me. He was like, dude, there's a guy. It was very <laughs> fortunate. <laughs> I, I ran well day one. All, all in, in for Big E. Look, He's the, the short stack at the table. Bill out of the small blind with two paying cards. Got to run good. Yep. Definitely thinking about it. He does make the call, Bill. So we're going to have a Big E's tournament life at risk here. Roger's folding. I mean, come on now, Rog. Good luck. Good luck. Heads up. Biggie's live here. But in trouble. For his tournament life. Not many sevens or sixes remaining in the deck. You see the outs on the top right. But now he picks up the eight as well. But he's dead. That's it. Big E. It looks like he doesn't want to leave the table. He is eliminated. Are you sure? Good game. Good game, man. I am positive. Okay, now it's now we're sure. Behind well, I me, mean, I just couldn't do it. No. I was saying, Bill. Big E came, said, told me pre-stream he was going to have to make an early move. You say that, but then you didn't even get to finish his soda. It was just delivered. Yeah. Yeah, it's all. Well played, Big E. 
We'll see him around town. Gets about eleven thousand dollars for his ninth place finish. Yeah, I believe so, right? right. Everyone can yeah, want to And Brittany, I was Brittany, it's savage. Brittany just gonna take that chair out immediately. Brittany's gonna replace this way. Everybody's gonna move around. If we were playing nine handed, now we're gonna move down to eight. Brittany is the undertaker. I mean I figured as much, but is that true? Folks, the mini monster is wrapping up today, but you know what? We love it so much. It's coming back March 15th through the 25th, the same exact tournament. Maybe you'll be on the final table in March. Doesn't Brad look like a seventh or eighth grader right there getting off the school bus? Backpack, lunchbox. Yeah, you know, with mom, can I get a snack, mom? How old is Brad in that picture? 12? About to get the juice box. Mini Monster's back. All right, so we are resituated. <coughs> We have a ninth sensor that we rarely use, and that was what we used. And now we're using our eight original sensors. We're back. Everybody has a little bit more room. Do we know who the furthest away player is at this final table? They're not all locals, right? No, I believe seat three. That counter reader. Because most of them are local, but seat three is told me where he was from. Texas? No. Okay. Somebody in chat will let us know. Somebody's got to be rooting for seat three. There's got to be one person rooting for seat three in chat. Roger with his third pocket pair in five hands. And he could apply some pressure here. Really put Roger to the test with the sixes. Andrew is from Florida. Thank you, sweet, for you. The raise does come in from Andy. What was the total? 2.6. Very awkward spot here, Roger, with the sixes. It's a jam or a full. There's really no in-between. Uh, at about 20-something. Ask him what he's starting with. If Roger asked me that question and I'm sitting right next to him and it's clearly I had him covered, I'm not saying shit. How much you start with? He's trying to see if Andy's a little bit nervous. He's going to lay it down. How much you start with, Rick? He is sitting right next to him. Those chips are right there. He clearly has some 4X. How much, how much you start with? Can I get five? Yeah. How much you playing? <clears throat> what did you have for lunch? It's the same question. Are you nervous? How much are you playing with? Come on, Roger. That's not comical. It's a little funny. 773 already in chat. Last night, we only were here for less than two hours as we knocked out 16 players in 51 hands. I don't think that's going to happen today. Naveen, who made the call heard round the world last night with a pair of fives against the jam from Nate Kogel. Big slick for Andy. One of the chip leaders at this table. Okay, now it's 10 million. Massive. Wants to shut it down pre right now or go all the way if necessary, and nobody yeah. will be playing for that price. Makes my decision very, <clears throat> very easy. I mean, I'm not calling the table. Let us know in chat who you are cheering for. We'd love to hear it. There's your chip counts. Mike, 34 million. Shorty is Andrew and Roger. 
both under 10 bigs. If he wants to play for two million, it's pretty big open two million here when the blinds are three six. Jacket man out of the big blind suited king. He'll defend. More than likely, although it is a big open. It's already got 1.2 million in there. Oh. Makes the call. Oh, the five got sixes there. Oh, okay. sixes there. Climbers mine. You have uh, two overs or just one? Just one. Yeah. There's the 10 for David, Jacket Man. Let's see if Naveen continues. He does, reaching for the candy cane <laughs> yeah, chips. Those are a million each. Can, you know? Looks like 3.5 million. Exactly. And then so what? <laughs> All in. Yeah. All in. Snap jam from Jack and Man. 3.5 is massive. Fair enough. Yeah. Massive bet there on 1093 ja Rainbow. Jack and Man putting on his cape. Oh my God, he's up. Is he up out of his chair already? The pre it could be a premature jacket yeah, put on right now. I mean, Devine didn't even make the call. Dude, I'm supposed to show. Jacket it's his man, cape. Man. Not at risk, but he's but at attention. No reason to right now. I did go to the store this morning to try and buy that exact jacket, but you know what, Rick? Sold out. Sold out. Jack, man, standing there. Naveen's like, what is going on here? Are my eights good? They are not. Way behind. I feel like this is a national anthem right now with, with Jacket Man. I'm going to stand up in the booth right now with Jacket Man. Naveen doing some inventory. It'd be for about half of his chips. This would be uh, unnecessary. You're blocking hands like 7-8, the draw that David might be doing this with. Maybe he has a hand like Jack-Queen that's still pretty close in equities. He's not jamming with anything less than a 10 or a 9 here. Should be an easy fold for Naveen. Good luck. And he, he makes the call. He makes the call. So here we go. Massive pot, 20.6. This is a huge pot early on. Hand number seven. Can Jacket Man survive or will he be eliminated in brutal fashion? Eight and Levine an eight Looking only. for an eight ball. Does not come. Nice Superman has his cape. Popeye has his spinach. And David has his jacket. Oh, that's nerve-wracking. I thought you were... I know it's back on, the, back on the chair, Rick. You just thought... Sit back down, Jacket Man. Play on. What are you patting my back for? <laughs> <laughs> Relief. Are you surprised at that call, that Skull? Day. Even though I was. Naveen oh, I was surprised. made that call last night. He already put in 3.5, oh, though, so he I, I was, didn't have too Not much more to call, you. but After that's a large call, portion of Naveen's snack. Now he's back that's my bluff, my with Roger and the rest of the shorties. And these pay jumps are real at the final that's table. You want to preserve those chips. Never good at those. Took a risk, didn't work out. Couldn't believe that Jacket Man just got out of his chair immediately to put the jacket on. Jacket Man from Liberty Hill, just around the corner from where I live. Wonder if he goes to Dahlia's Cafe out there in Liberty Hill. Maybe he'll be giving poker lessons at a nearby cafe. You can go and get a quick lesson or two, probably for free. He'll give us a couple of free lessons. I'll go with you. <laughs> Bill's all in, ace-queen suited. 
Maybe we just go shopping with him. Forget the <laughs> poker. We just go shopping. <laughs> <clears throat> Thank you. Bill Cox, who said he wanted to pick his spots when I talked to him before the stream. This is the spot he put, picked, and Rogers, no way he's going to call with his tournament life with Ace Four. This is a great spot. What was really impressive was the call there with the King High. Could have been losing to a number of ace highs. Wanted to gamble early odds. So now Bill North of 10 million. And Jacket Man will not play the King 9. Nor will Rick. So nice spot there for Bill. North of 12 million now. He told us if he wins the tournament, it's a free night of partying at the at establishment the tonight. So I hope you told Rocky he'll be home late. Yeah, his shirt on the back side, it has the number zero, and where the name goes, it like says Days Sober. Uh, booth? Uh, I guess so, I don't know. Yeah, I played I with him. Did you? I said, yeah, he bluffed me pretty bad. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure he's excited to hear about that right now. Yeah, for sure. I mean, he's up there, and I'm down here. No, I don't. <laughs> wow. Shots fired uh, against Slick Rick. Couldn't help myself. <laughs> All in with the tanks again. Who said that? Seat, seat uh, three there, and oh, three. Out I bluffed him on, on the, my only bullet pretty bad. He was shook up, but he made the final table. Andrew from Florida. Maybe he stays an extra day. We fire up the stream. Andrew versus Slick Rick heads up. <laughs> Bill, all in again, back to back hands. And it's going to work at 300, 600, 600. You do that. I do that. that. Pick it up to blinds. It's 1.5 million at a time. I'm sure. I'll take, I'll take the action. Andrew giving a little lesson here on ICM. It is a bit aggressive for Bill to be jamming his entire stack. Okay. Not, not even leaving. You usually see was, uh, people leave a couple chips behind just in case one of the shorter stacks wake up with a hand so they can maybe fold yeah, and ladder up. But Bill doesn't yeah. give a crap. <laughs> He's old school. He's going to jab his entire win. stack. I mean, He's playing am, for the but... win or nothing. <laughs> I'm also trying to win. And if Andrew keeps taking shots at Slick confident. Rick, he's, gonna, he's not going to last very long at this final table. Let's be serious. Yoda says he had perfect tens. Very yeah, nice, Yoda. That was well done, Yoda. Every time it comes to us in the small blind, big blind, I wake up to eight two off suit. <laughs> Aces. Oh, <no. laughs> At least last time. So one player eight. eliminated already. That was Big E. He walked out of here with eleven thousand dollars plus. Eighth place gets fourteen thousand two ninety three. There you see the clock break coming one hour and thirty six minutes from now. Last night we didn't even make it to the first break, whittling down from twenty five to nine players. Under the gun, Queen Jack for Roger. Not going to play it. Andy will be playing the King Queen off with 27 million in chips, a whole different ball game. 1.5 to go.
Rick, mainly a cash player here at the Lodge, says he doesn't play too many tournaments. Oh, sorry. Maybe that'll change. There we go. Also at a discount. <laughs> 1.5. Mill and Bill with Ace-10 will come along in the big blind. There's the ace for Bill. Bill's going to lead here. And to two players that have him covered, that could put a lot of pressure on him. Bill's ace 10 could be bad here a number of the time, but it's not. You don't see this play very often, though, with the lead. But it will work. This mini monster once again. Are you trying to show a card? 5,256 entries. I wasn't trying to. We guaranteed 400K yeah. in the prize pool. Well, we okay. shattered yeah. that. How about over double well, that's a card I wanted the 400K? $840,960 in the initial prize pool. We did pay day one payouts and some double bag bonuses in the amount of about 126000 So the prize pool, day two, 714000 Six hundred and sixty dollars. Naveen goes all in with the sixes. With about 10 million, Rogers asking for a count with King High in the big blind. You really need a count? It's just more Any, than you, Rogers. Anytime yeah. I have a chance to get a count, I'm going to get a count, guys. <laughs> if you haven't figured that out yet. Oh, we figured it out. How much is it? <laughs> I just had to give you a hard time about it. Oh, I know, I know. Bill Cox says exactly what you said earlier. Well, yes, you could double up if you wish her. Does it matter if it's one chip over or a million chips over? He's got more than you, Roger. I, I don't fully understand that, especially since there's no shot clock. It's clear that he has you covered. You're folding there 97% of the time. It's talking. But two bits. We can talk with Colin. He's staring someone talk. in his hand. I understand if it's complicated it's to see the hand. stack, but... Well, now I have to. <laughs> Roger plays poker pretty much every day of his life. He knows... I get the opportunity. <clears throat> ...how much Nadine has by just glancing over at his well, stack. You know of all the dealers that work here, Anastasia is one of them. Wow. <laughs> the, one of the best. Andrew with some suited Broadway cards. Just with four million. Just just said, oh man. <laughs> Under the gun, and next hand he's going to be putting in 1.2, so. I fold. He'll lay it down. He's got under seven big blinds. <laughs> yeah, surprised that didn't go in right there. Yeah, that was, could have been his spot. I mean, you don't love it, but you don't have a lot of time to waste. Jacket Man will release his King Jack. Jacket Man did say if he wins this tournament, Rick, similar to DQ buying us chairs in the bunker, Jacket Man will be buying us new jackets for the winter time <laughs> as a thank you. He did tell me that. Roger in the small blind, already with 300,000 invested. Need a count? <laughs> Mike off 31 million. Need a count, bro. I probably wouldn't ask for a count from your stay. <laughs> Anything that's close. <laughs> I mean, I call bullshit on that. You asked for a count for the man sitting next to you, Andy, and he had north of 20 million. Too many people behind me. 
I'm really glad I pulled it now. <laughs> I was like 100% ES King Jack. I'm calling. With it's a great TV picture TV. of our <laughs> studio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Under the lights. Because I said, oh man. Yeah. Brittany. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Our game host. It's King Jack of Diamonds. Oh, so we had an eight outs for each other. We'll have three well, dealers today. Uh, oh, no, never mind. I <laughs> use this. Anastasia, uh, Final Table Kev, and Bellagio no, Anthony. No, actually, I do need. Five. Final Table Kev yeah. came to work today. Yeah, a little Not sad. Not a day of mourning. All right. Over his Buffalo Bills. Out of the wire here. <clears throat> now I know my kings and jacks were a little less live. Uh, Andy <laughs> is going to put a bunch of 500k chips in to the tune of what 6.8 million? Can't do it. Did you beat it high? Did it? Could you beat eight high? <laughs> Lightly. All right. Just so I can keep track of. I might have not even been live. All right. 6.5. Thank you. All right. Had an early elimination in hand number four, but none since. Eight players remain. Bill with the ever attractive suited connector, eight, nine. Those light blue chips are 25K. The smallest chip value on the table. All in. All in with Good the luck, tanks. Thank you. Good luck, Roger. Thank you. And as it comes around, heading back to Bill already with, he's got 15 million chips. A chance to knock someone out. Of course. Won't be happy if he makes the call when he sees he's up against two tens. Definitely hoping and praying that Roger has a hand like Ace King or some two Broadway cards. Yeah. Pair is trouble. But we do have 1.5 in the middle. And it is a chance to eliminate a player. So Bill thinking over his options and he's going to lay it down. Wow. That's a good fall, Bill. I hope so. You'll see it. I think he had pocket eights or something like that. And you had a big pair? I had a pair. 1.6 thousand people already watching in chat. There you see the chip counts. Mike, the chip leader. Andrew on fumes. Thank you. We'll need to push. At some point in this next orbit, he's on the button now. Folks, let's do a little roll call. Let us know where you're watching from all over the world. Thank you. 
three players with hearts here. All the hearts. Could you imagine if Anastasia somehow finds a few? But she doesn't. Ace King Jack, two diamonds. Pair for Bill way out in front here. Pair for everybody. Levine goes for 1.5. Bill with the min click right away. Wants to see where he's at. And this should be a fold from Rick. Two players seemingly interested in this pot. Losing to a tremendous amount. Stronger kings, ace, queen, 10. Yeah, easy decision there to lay that one down. Same with Naveen. Not much more wiggle room for Naveen after he torched about 7, 8 million on that hand. Versus Jacket Man. And Bill finding his groove. Eliminated Big E. Survived a couple of all-ins without any resistance. And he's scooping up the multi-way pot. So watch out for Mr. Cox in the eighth seat. Cooley checking in from Nigeria. Allen from Colchester, UK. Guy from Ottawa, Canada. Home of the Senators. Wes from Denver. Tex Crate from Spring, Texas. They, they used to be the home of the Goodyear Blimp. Thank you all for tuning in. All in here from Naveen, Ace 10. Under the gun, Rip. And Andrew in the three seat is loving this. He's on like three BBs. There's all ins like every hand. Hoping and praying that somebody wakes up with a hand and he could ladder up about a couple thousand. Some Broadway cards for Andy. Well. And a ton of chips. Andrew's not saying it in the three seat right now, but in his mind, he's like, please call. Please call. Please call. Payouts are now posted in chat, folks. Little over a three grand, 3.5 pay jump between the next elimination and seventh. Rick taking a page out of Roger's playbook. The Tandu said it's not Doyle Brunson Day at the Lodge anymore. This is the final table. It's on you, Rick. Rick, it's on you. Unless there's a card reader error, what is going on here? Rick taking a midstream nap. Meditating. Oh, I'm sorry, it's on me, right? <laughs> oh, my God, Rick. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that sorry, Chris yeah. Moneymaker when that happened to him in his final table at <laughs> <to> WSOP? Calculating <laughs> what It's an important call. We'll yeah. give him all the time he wants. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. Hey, now you got me in the next blind level. Thanks for letting <laughs> That's what he was waiting on. Yeah. I'm going to look like a douchebag on the stream. 
Well, really I wouldn't like say that, too. Rick. Yeah, really bad hand. I was yeah, thinking, but not this. <laughs> was it a crappy hand, too? Because now well, yeah, yeah, you're four. tanking with like 9-2 no, or something no, yeah, like that. Yeah. That was, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, guys. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no, That'll be the last. About? <laughs> I get one, right? Yeah. You... All right, we'll let Rick slide there. Well, that makes perfect sense now. <laughs> <laughs> Everything <laughs> else... I'm sweat a little bit. Yeah. I was <laughs> thinking what Hans is going to call me with, and he's just says, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> and when, when he grabbed the blue chip, I was like, oh, here comes either the... Comes. And meanwhile, the blind level just went up. <laughs> Next hand. Heads up, Naveen and Andy. Neither player hits any part of that flop. Rick's going to use some of his chips to try to force... Naveen defold. Naveen is very sticky, but this time he lays it down. I see some famous people in chat. Jasbo, the official helicopter pilot of Chatsville, Florida Bill, Albert Tucci, Joachim Hansen from the Netherlands. We're huge in the Netherlands. Appreciate everybody joining us. 1,900 and growing already. As this is the final table of the mini monster winner. One of these eight gentlemen will win $112,000 and a trophy. See Ruth Hall in chat. Hello, Ruth. Ruth is a tournament crusher. I should have been all in like three times. They call there. her Ruthless. Hey, you're waiting on a paid jump. No, I just, <laughs> you know, I ran so good yesterday that I'm expecting to get aces <clears throat> out of the next three out of four hands. So. I, I thought about coming a couple hours early and just hoping to run terrible at cash. Yeah, <laughs> so it balances no. out. <laughs> right, yeah, that's how it works. I, I was mixed yesterday. Lucinda, I, I see you. The, stream. the entire day, too, I never saw aces or kings once. The entire day, too? Yeah. Well, how many hands do you think you played day two? Uh, I imagine quite a few. It was, what, 10 hours? Mm -hmm. Or no, eight, eight or nine hours? Oh, it was the uh, that one. I think you played... 442 hands? Probably not. Blinds are now 400, 800, 800. Andrew better start thinking of a spot to sh shove with. He's got about five big blinds. More interested in getting in a conversation with the chip leader. A stack offsuit. Cut off. Two of the big stacks. Not really incentivized to be tangling with one another. Gonna lay it down, but not think he would be laying it down. Off of a single min open. Big blind for Roger. He's already got 1.6 million. Showing Andy a lot of respect with that lay down under the gun. But Mike is the one with more chips than Andy, so 
Andy was in position. He can apply a lot more pressure to Andy than Andy can apply the pressure to Mike. So a little bit right. surprised to see the lay down with the ace jack off. <laughs> You guys can start playing for real. <laughs> Russian roulette coming around. <laughs> He's got one. Oh, <laughs> thank one, you. One, one heavy. Too many thank you. Oh, I got one. Go. All right, let's see. Sponsorship is over here. Here we go. <laughs> you guys ready? Mm hmm. I guess it's going to be a random hand. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew is barely going to be able to cover the blinds. <clears throat> he will be in the big blind next hand. He'll have enough for that and the small blind. All in from Naveen with King Knight suited. Can you, uh, what do you need? just one of those? I think. Yeah, that should be good. <clears throat> so, this is going to be a hand that Andrew in seat three is going to have to play. Yeah, I mean, technically, I could pay for another rotation. <laughs> <laughs> he heard you there, he answered your question. Technically, rotation. Some call it an orbit. Others call it a rotation. Sure. Um, 1.6. Jacket man is going to get after it. Under the gun, 1.6. And he's going to battle cool. with 28 million. Has a feeling that David is raising light, and he is. And oh, Andrew, Andrew in the perfect spot will put it in right now. What? Thanks. Good work, man. I hope you woke up to something better than what you had last time. Mm -hmm. I haven't looked. <laughs> Hasn't looked. He'll be happy to see that he's got the best hand that he's had in quite some time. But he's going to have to beat two opponents. Has Andy crushed? David in bad shape. Andrew's going to need to fade a king or some runners. Good luck, buddy. Thanks. But cards will not be on their backs just yeah, yet because we will have a side know. pot between the two and the four. It's possible. Doesn't feel like it. Jacket man still in his seat. Doesn't need the cape just yet. Check. Snap check check. Check check. And Andrew will triple check. up. This king wow. high. Good. Wow. wow. <laughs> that's, uh, that's crazy. Nice answer. Oh yeah. <laughs> Wakes up with not with Jack. Wakes up with Jack. Wow, that's, that's pretty funny. That's crazy. Yeah. Nice Andrew now with eight big blinds. Yeah, best case scenario right there. Okay. Thanks. Can I ask what you folded on the uh, under the gun hand. Um, ten eight off. I mean, queen seven or better. I'm supposed to rip it, right? That's the strategy I normally go with. Yeah. I feel like Jack-10 would probably have about equal equity to Queen-7. Yeah, seven there are some they're suited connector with. options that yeah. I could throw in there, but I don't know. I'm actually 
over what I started with today. <laughs> Chipping up. <laughs> Grinding. What do you know? Uh, like six. Uh, seven, two point five four, million four, five, six. raised from Bill with a seven off. Roger with ace nine suited. With about five point four million. He may be the short stack right now at the table. He is. Jacket man with ace ten off. He is not as powerful powerful without the jacket. Yeah. You know. on the, uh, Looks to pee in a lot of pain here. Every time. Yesterday, it seems like I was raising and going all in on his big wide yesterday. <laughs> I don't know how you can continue after all the expression cold. being revealed. He lays it down. I, uh, I, probably, I probably had kicker problems. Hmm. No. I had ace nine of clubs. Just telling the table, too, that he laid down an ace. Uh, we were battling with the dangles. Of Payouts. The Tournament clock. Yeah. Chip averages. This is what we're playing for, folks, yeah, in the yeah, mini monster one. final table at the Lodge in Austin, Texas. <clears throat> on a rainy and cool Monday mm -hmm. afternoon. There will be no Wednesday stream this week, folks. We will be back on Thursday for the 510 match the stack format. And then on Friday, it's going to be round two of the Road to LCS $1,100 sit and go, followed by the Art of Poker on Saturday. So that will be the schedule for this week. But right now, it's about these eight gentlemen battling for a six figure payout. And let the record show that Jacket Man is 0 for 1. In showdowns without the jacket. Yeah, I mean, he loses his power. Seems like everybody gets <clears throat> ace deuce or ace. Or <laughs> He's like Clark ace, Kent ace, right ace, now. I was definitely supposed to go all in there. 100%. And why didn't you? So, a couple oh, of right tournaments <laughs> yeah. for your viewing pleasure this week That's and a cash well, game. So, if you like the tournaments, which we know y'all do, because the numbers are pretty large when we put a tournament on, Friday and Saturday will be tournaments. Thursday will be the cash game. King, queen, offsuit, all in. Naveen has done that a few times through 25 hands. Mike with ace nine wants a count. Mike with 31 million chips, he could easily make this call, still have 20 million if he loses. Naveen's tournament life in the balance here. He's gonna lay it down, Ricky. Seems to be leaning fold here. Dead in the middle. Now saying 50-50, will he randomize a call or a fold? Just feel like we're leaning fold here. Doesn't want to potentially lose this pot and fall back to the pack. Really in great shape for a top three payout right now. Let these shorter stacks yeah. eliminate each other. It is pretty close, and Naveen is definitely the loosest player and shown to be the most aggressive here, willing to put it in light.
But it is under the gun. And it is north of 10 million in chips, so Mikey will lay it down. Let's take a look at the stare down. This is like Alex stares down people. Let's look at this stare down. Mike and Naveen says right back at you. Look at that. Under the gun. And then the little smirk. Couldn't hold it for more than a couple seconds. There's your chip counts. Mike and Andy way out in front, 38 and 33 big blinds. And Roger and Andrew under eight big blinds. So they're going to have to make a move here. Not of the premium variety or suited. And Clayton comes into the box, the tallest dealer in the country. Close enough to give it a lot of Goes about six foot nine. We're all going to see it. Yeah, I know. But until you see it, my range could be anywhere from folding ace four to ace queen. I know some of those words. Andy raises to two million, and Andrew with ace nine and not many chips decides he's going to pick another spot. And the ladies for Jacket Man. Six point five. Raises to 6.5. And Andy with a ton of chips. Would need to put four and a half more million in there to see this flop. Nine. Six. Lays it down. Nice bet. Jacket man takes it down. Hand number yeah. 26. Any overs? Had one over. Was there an ace? Maybe. That hole was me. If it wasn't, I had one of your overs. <laughs> You're drawing dead, basically. I'm drawing dead. Yeah, yeah I should have <laughs> Just fold. He's flopping quads. I believe it. Yeah. It's standard, really. I was I was looking forward to blind on blind battle and you two ruined it for me. <laughs> mm -hmm. There'll be other opportunities for that. Wanted to get rid of my nitty image that the prior hand had given me on the stream. Rick now, base 10 offsuit in the cutoff. Puts out two candy canes. Those are a million each. All in, All in from Naveen with the tanks. This would cripple Rick. At least no, Rick. He knows it's not him this time, so that's... That's a positive. <laughs> 
Rick would be crippled here with about three big blinds if he calls and loses this hand. He's folding, Rick. In no man's land here, thinking he wants to do it. Says maybe Naveen has a hand like nines, eights, sevens, and we're flipping. But then again, all the ace, jack, pluses, tens, jack, queens, kings, ace, have us crushed. And the short stack at the table, Rick, already had his nap. Should be fresh. It'd be funny if he says, is it on me? Somebody at the table should be like, <laughs> hey, Rick, it's on you. Could go either way here, though. Ready? Oh! oh! One of those. One of those moves. The, we call that the around the world. Whoa. All right, Rick. Once you pull that move and it's back in the, in the stack, it's to the mock. That was some pretty crazy flirting with forward motion, right? Shift it like two or three times. Yeah. I don't know. Was that a forward motion? I, oh, okay. I mean, no, you're, you're, you're good. good. Right. I, I you're, good. Good. you're good. You're good. No, yeah, yeah. My wow. judge. So I'm not. I'm not trying to put you out or anything. Well, you said he it. Tells me that's a forward motion. I'll correct it. But he said no. So. You're fine, man. A little feistiness. Yeah, you were just dabbing with your chips. You <laughs> I, I like I like the comment there by Andrew in the three C. Put him on notice. Little price check. Price check aisle four. Yeah. Meanwhile, all in Naveen over here. Been all in like six times in twenty eight hands. How was that really beautiful? A six for Mike. Cut off. Easy open here. Blinds four eight eight. Makes it two million to go. Bill reaching for chips. Quickly makes the call with the Jack Ten off suit out of the small. Doesn't even really think about it too much. Roger now. The short stack three point eight. What does he do here? Would love to see a flop, right? But we do not have much wiggle room whatsoever. So he lays it down. And it's heads up between Mike and Bill. Two pair for Mike. Broadway draw for Bill. Does Mike get cute here? He does. Giving Bill a little bit of rope. Now Bill with a pair. Looking for a king or a jack. Now it's time to start building if you're Mike. How much will it be? 2.5? Quick fold. Boy, oh boy, if a king would have peeled on that turn. I get change, please. Yeah. We wanted you to put me on kings there and get aggressive. Coming up in just about eight days, the wacky weekend of poker. Find out about games like Deuces Wild, Mystery Bounty, an all knit game tournament, an all double board bound pot tournament. All these tournaments are going to be between $200 and $400 buy-ins. It's called the Wacky Weekend of Poker. That starts on a Thursday. February 1st is a Thursday. And Slick Rick will be at the door greeting people in a clown in suit. In a clown suit. I read your mind. Yes. You always make, volunteer make, me for the clown make suit. Make me a bicycle clown. <laughs> Rick with the pocket sixes here. Six. 
Goes heads up here. Andy and Rick. Six is way out in front. One point five and a call. Does Andy want to fire again and put a lot of pressure on Rick? He's not. Imagine Rick would want to check back here for some pot control. Safe run out for Rick. Andy's line doesn't make a whole lot of sense. So he'll probably just wave the white flag. And Rick on his way to a six million chip pot. But no, Andy oh fires, goodness. takes a stab here. But like I mentioned, this line does not make a whole lot of sense. Four million. Got to admire the heart with zero showdown value. Seven high going for it. Putting the pressure on Rick, who's been... Showing that he's leaning fold more so than leaning call in certain spots, but the line doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Can Rick sift this one out? And when close to a 14 million chip pot, looks to be leaning call this time. Tired of being pushed around, he, he lays it down. Andy, seven high like a boss. Takes down that one. That's a huge pot for Andy and a huge pot for Rick. Both players trending in opposite directions. I don't know about that one, Rick. Sometimes you got to make the tough calls. There's the payouts. First place, 112000 Folks, this is a $200 buy-in tournament. $112K up top? Are you kidding me? 63K for second. You see, everybody's locked up at least 14,293. Jacket man with the sixes. Lays it down. The crabs for Mike and a ton of chips. Going to fire out a couple million. Seen a decent amount of passive uh -oh. play. Roger's sending it in. He's got to put it in here. Come on, Roger. Not going to be much more for Mike to call, so Roger's tournament life will be at risk here as he sends it in. And he needs to respect Mike. And... You never want to tangle with the other big stack if you can help it. Sick angle. Until you have to, right? Yeah, it's about three million more to call. Already has four hundred in there. He's out. He's gone. There's the quick call for Rogers Tournament Life. Needs an ace or a queen. Let's not forget that Jacket Man good. folded the sixes. Oh. Roger already uh, saying his uh, goodbyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good I'll get the jacket. All the way. I think he had fours last time. Anybody had ace? Oh. oh wow. There's Three. the set. Right. And the six. Jacket uh, Man would have had top set. We could have had set over set violence. But Roger now drawing dead. GG Roger, a local legend, will be leaving the stream, and we're down to seven. Better it's got a sting, though, for the sixes. Way to up, right? Oh, yeah, man. I had to do it the hard way. And yeah. Andrew ladders and up blind. with the short stack. Eighth place so gets paid 14, that, uh, 293. Seventh place, another 4,500, uh, 3,500. So Andrew made himself 3,500 right there. As you see, Brittany wastes no time with the chair. Get the chair out of here. The chairmanator. I should have. Uh, I wasn't sure uh, what you were going to do. Well, yeah. The chairmanator. If you shove, 
No, I, I, I wouldn't have done that here. Um, I, mean, I, I would have yeah. called it. If you raised, I'd probably see a flop, like if it's a small raise. Are you from Austin? Mm -hmm. Ace Clown was Got here when I was seven. There she goes. The Chairminator? Yep. Changed a lot. Yeah. Top left. I'm not from Now here, you see it? Where are you from? Uh, South Florida. Now you don't. Her single best performance uh, was when she beat the player eliminated out of the room with his own chair. Yeah. yeah. That was uh, epic. Uh, I, I thought we were going to have to call out. Cinnabon for personal injury uh, attorney because uh, could have lost a couple of toes. Yeah, no. From that uh, chair. No. Uh, no, I'm not like a Joe Rogan fanboy or anything like that. I just, uh, there's a cool comedian I wanted to see. And, uh, yeah. I don't know, I have a friend who lives here. I've known her since like kindergarten. And, uh, yeah. yeah. Were, you, were you playing cash earlier in the week? I feel like I might have played with you at a table one day. We, I mean, I played like one, two, waiting for a tournament yeah. to start for like 15 minutes. Okay. Um, that could have been it. You do look familiar. We might have bumped into each other in the tournament as well. Right. Your name one more time? Mike. Mike. Andrew. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You're in this room all the time? Um, not in this specific room. Right. Not in this. <laughs> come here often? No. Yes. I do come to the lodge a lot. <laughs> okay. Um, right on. You should check out the Hard Rock in Hollywood. No? Yeah, I've heard a lot about that place. Yeah, man. It's... Uh, a lot of action, a lot of good. There's a great tournament going on right now uh, there, actually. I hear the poker is really good out in Florida. Yeah. yeah where Lexo plays all the time. Who? Lex. Lex? A uh, poker vlogger. Oh. It I'm is. I'm familiar with that one. Yeah, I know him. The only Florida. poker vlogger I'm really... He's from Florida. ...vlogger I'm familiar with is, like, Brad Owen, who's yeah. here. Um, good answer. Well, there's a couple others, but I'm not even going to mention know. their names here. <laughs> Smart man. There's a few that have come across my YouTube algorithm in the yeah. last year or so, but when I'm at the poker table and people start talking about famous poker players, I'm generally lost. <laughs> Who aspires to that man? <laughs> like, I don't know. Point two. Whole table, a bit more comfortable with one another, getting involved in some <laughs> conversation, but Andy seems to be the most focused. Yeah. The hard rock show Jacket man. man with the hockey sticks. Really well-run tournaments. Yep. It's folded the sixes. Yeah. And without, he could have opened. Now there's already a raise in front of him. Is in position. Good call. Just makes the call. Uh, it's going to be a little bit hard for David to play these sevens post without flopping a set, and there is only one seven remaining. So let's see if Andy can steal another one from Jacket Man on this queen, queen, ten, two spade flop. You know, Jacket Man's not going to want to stand the heat here if Andy fires. Depends on the sizing, of course. Two and a half mil, looks like. Do we keep Andy honest for at least one more streak? We do have the seven of spades. And David already making some facial expressions. Doesn't look too comfortable. And he will lay down the seven. So don't really like the flat there with the sevens. Rather yeah. play a little bit more aggressively for moments exactly like this. A three bet there would have taken it down pre. And Jacket Man loses uh, about his. two million oh, okay. in chips. Each chip extremely important here with ICM seven remaining. Next payout seventeen point eight, I believe. Then twenty two, twenty nine. Trivial shoves. <laughs> Things getting serious, Rick. Twenty five hundred watching. If you could, if you're having fun with us today, Making hit that thumbs up day. and also subscribe to the channel. We promise to bring it strong every time we come on the air. <laughs>
things also to remember here while watching this final table. All in, All from, in Andrew. from Andrew. All in from Andrew. 395. Easy shove here. Late position eights, Three short five. stack. Three eight. Three nine five. Rick, Rick with big ace slick. king. We will have a flip. Likely will redram for isolation. Off a nine point two. Sends it in. Sends it in. Mike will lay it down. Can Andrew survive again? Last time he was all in blind. Probably big behind. Man. Big pair. He held. It's a race. Good luck, y'all. Good luck, guys. Nine point nine million. Oof. Anybody had ace? I didn't. Two. Nope. <laughs> Picks up ace more outs to the jack. Ace, king, or jack. There's the ace. Good game, guys. Eric needs the eight. Does not come. Andrew is eliminated I go out that way. in seventh place. Cool. And he will walk out of here with 17,867. And he did ladder up. He came, I believe he was came into today's final table. One of the short stacks. It was Big E, the shortest, and then I think it was Andrew. Where's Brittany now? Potter's removing the chair? You give her one name, the Terminator, and now it's Top Knot Potter? <laughs> Top Knot Potter. <laughs> That's his name. <laughs> this is a lot less intimidating than the Terminator. Nonetheless, and six remain. And then there were six. What I was saying before that all in, that this was, again, a $200 buy-in, right? So we're not dealing with super pros in this field. So a lot of these players, almost all of them amateurs. So it's not going to be completely GTO. There will be certain spots where there are a few minor mistakes. But the bottom line is this. These six people are playing for a large payout. Me, you, everybody watching, we're just watching. So these six made it here, and they're going to play the way they choose. And everybody seems to be having a good time here at the Lodge, of course, always. So we'll see who's going to take down the six-figure payout and the trophy in just a matter of a few short hours. It just seems like it's destined for an there Andy and Mike collision at some point. Terminator. The Terminator. Back to destroy her next target. And bring some coffee to Naveen. He needs a little bit more juice. Jacket man under the gun. Ace five off. Six handed into the muck. Hockey sticks for Rick. Oh. Mike with all these chips. 41.8. A lot of mid and link stacks. Everybody now has dreams of the big money. I'd be applying pressure with some small three bets, trying to take some pots down with some small C bots, C bets posts. My apologies. C bots. What are we thinking about bots and we play online poker? Talking about the Terminator. Now I'm thinking robots. Andy, the one playing the most aggressively. We'll raise the big blind. Could have easily seen a flop, but I think Andy's starting to recognize that, what I just mentioned, and he's charging. What will Rick here do with the sevens? Feels pretty gross to call off about 4.8 and then have to fold, similar to what we saw a couple hands ago with Jacket Man. Rick doing some inventory on his stack. Calling here seems pretty gross. Can rip it or fold it? Or you're just going to be in so many difficult spots on whatever the flop brings, and Andy will be first to act out of the big blind. Definitely going to be putting in a C bet no matter what comes. And you see the pain for Rick. Into the muck the sevens go. Same with Bill. And Andy takes down a nice sized pot with some pre flop huh? aggression. Not that good. You call, I call. Oh, yeah. 
You're not that good pairs better than mine. Or my <laughs> Coming this Saturday to the Lodge, <laughs> The Art of Poker, a monthly occurrence every third Saturday of the month, $250 buy-in. We guarantee 40K in the prize pool for that one. My hand did not want to play if you were in the pot. I almost showed. <laughs> Bill in seat eight has won many Art of Pokers here at the Lodge. It's, we used to put everybody's picture up on the wall. He's got about eight of them. All right, let's try this again. Try this again, and now it's from sevens to fives, under the gun now, limps again. Mike the chip leader. Tired of seeing Andy make all the moves, puts in a raise of his own. And nobody has really much to continue, and now Rick's kind of in the same spot. This time out of position for a much smaller price. Makes the call. Seven million in the middle. And a seven in the window. Mike vaults to the lead. Check, check. Rick doesn't really seem too interested in this pot whatsoever. I think going for thin value here is going to get a call for anything worse. So, I mean, check, two pair. Rick probably would have called for some thin, thin value, but I don't mind the check there from Mike. Your check raised. Another pot for him. Happy and I didn't think you were calling with anything worse. <laughs> One, one now? Yeah. Okay. Very, very interesting final six we have. We know Naveen not afraid to put chips in the middle. Same with Bill. The two big stacks there in the two <clears throat> and the four. 500, one thousand, one thousand. I'm sorry. 500, one million, one million. They couldn't put enough zeros up there. So 2.5 million of your chips go in every six hands now in the middle. I think this is the first time, Rick, that we had a Rick and a Mike on the felt at the same time while we were in the booth. Do you recall another time? No, I don't. <laughs> Makes reading the chat a little bit more difficult. Exactly. <laughs> Shout out to the chat tuning in here. Approaching 3K in the live chat, hanging with us. Slick Rick, Skull Mike, Lodge Poker Club. You guys already know the drill. Like and subscribe. Approaching 165,000 subscribers. Slick Rick posting on his Instagram, down another five pounds from the weigh-in. So the jump is near, folks. Yeah, 15.8 as of this morning. From the first to the 20, three weeks, 15.8 pounds. You're going to call me Slim Rick. I had a milkshake and a cheeseburger today. Feeling, feeling good. Sixes for David on the button. And the blinds have gone up to 501 million. So he's sitting on 12.7 bigs. Not really much room here for, for wiggle room. And he, he makes it 3.2, which is 3.2. It's pretty big. Mike will call here. And now we're sort of in a battle in no man's land with the ship leader. And that's a set for Mike. Hard to play these sixes post. Now it is fives full for Mike. David connects with the flush. Six high. The flush is no good. 
And a quick bet there from Mike, 9.5, trying to make it look a little bluffy, stuffs it on the man. This would be for Jacket Man's tournament life. Who was drawing dead on the turn. I would have likely just jammed these sixes pre, and I, Mikey probably would have called, and the tournament would have been over. So either way, a, a rough run out for Jacket Man who had Mike dominated pre, still has 9.5, but blinds are 1 million now. Shows it. Lays down. Lays down the flush oh. there. Good lay down there. You had a heart, hopefully. I did not have a heart. Probably had a boat then, huh? And the heart. Only, only thing. Or there had been no bets the entire way. Jerome Teal. Yeah. The Teflon oh, Don of the Australian Mafia oh, is leaving us. Thank you, Jerome, for checking in. East nine suited for Andy. Naveen was the most aggressive player at the start of the stream, but Andy has picked up the pace here. Makes it 2.2 mil. Mike with 49 million chips. Doesn't really need to be messing with Andy out of position. Naveen Let's just call. Along. Interesting with a just call. Invites Naveen into the pot three ways. <sighs> so this pot now is 7.6 in the middle. And Andy just flops oh Jin. Oh, my goodness. Naveen rips it. This is going to oh be it. Oh, my goodness. Naveen, lights out for you, sir. Well played getting to the final table. But, my goodness, top pair thinks it's good enough, but it is not. Andy will be tanking here to try and invite Mike somehow into the pot and somehow win a humongous pot. But as we see, Mike just with King High will not be getting involved. But you can understand the tank from Andy. A snap rip from Naveen, and he's going to need runner-runner for the boat. Otherwise, Andy will be our new chip leader. Just. Good luck, all in. Hush. Look. I think he just said call. He calls, yeah. Calls. yeah but Mike quickly folds. Yeah. So 30 million chip pot here. I didn't. <laughs> Let's see if Naveen Mashed that. Uh, it was a pretty can nice spike a miracle. Do miracles happen? They do. The straight flush, bro. We will remember this one if he gets there. But it's over. It's over. And Naveen yeah, will finish in sixth place and walk out of here. With 22,154. 31 minutes. 31. And we've got about 30 minutes before we go on our first break. And there we go. We're down to five. Everybody's locked up at least 29K. Right, right. I had the kind of hand where if it hit just right, I could have. Taking over the tournament. Terminator already <laughs> took care of business. Yeah. <laughs> I was, uh, was hoping maybe he had like a king of diamonds or something. Yeah, I had no connection to that board. <clears throat> I did have a suited king, though. <laughs> My big? Yeah, no, dead. And Andy right. now that? Yeah. is the chip leader. Even if With 51.6 million in chips. I don't love you having that big stack, though. <laughs> Josh, the access. I should just stay in the chair as it exits the room. That would be funny. Give me a free ride out.
Owen. Good luck, Owen. Aggressive jam here from Bill. Not taking any crap him out one from Mike. There if there's the small blind. <laughs> and Bill steals 2.5 million off of Mike. Shorthanded leaderboard now. Two players with under 10 bigs. David and Rick, Jacket Man and Rick. <laughs> no, that's from Brittany. At this point, every five hands, 2.5 million chips are going in. All in from Bill with the pocket fives. Bill is playing for the win. Doesn't really care about the pay jumps. There are two smaller stacks. Unfortunately, well, Bill's going for it. You see these pay jumps pretty serious between now and third place. Close to $20,000 difference. So if Bill wanted to, he could play a little bit more timidly, let these shorter stacks take their shots. And just bank another 20K all the way to perfect tens. But no. He's playing for the 112.9. Ace eight. One. Fresh off with back-to-back all-ins. How about a third? A triple all-in from Bill. He says, get a taste of this, guys. It's going to work again. I would have called a small three. And Bill is just collecting two and a half million at a time. 404 of you have already liked it. With 2,600 plus, Thanks. if you're having fun, hit that thumbs up. Doesn't cost you anything. Sure would help us out. No overtime today because we will be going from start to finish no matter how long it takes. Bill All again, in. four in a row. What does he have this time? H Jack, same, same. This is unbelievable. Four in a row. Mike likely to call this one. <laughs> well, let, it's for half of his stack. My goodness. Action on Jacket Man. He's gone. What will Mike do here? Four in a row. He makes the call. This be the time you woke up. He makes the call. <laughs> Bill last time was eliminated on a very similar hand on a recent tournament. This he had ace king versus another ace king. This will be this guy. He's suited. Bill's suited here. A favorite, slight favorite here. See if my king just holds. So it runs out all spades or all clubs. I mean, my goodness, GG. But let's see what the run out brings us. Hearts. Chop it up. Chop it up. I'm fucking not. Dude, I'm just about. Well played. Ooh. Yeah, that hard. <laughs> thing I pulled it. <laughs> Four all-ins in a row from Bill. Will there be a fifth? I'm so short that. No it's chance. Like, it's right? like we're playing on Friar Friday. I'm um, big boy. That sucks. My luck. Uh, Marty, the numbers at the bottom of the screen are for dealers. Those are the dealer strings here at the lodge. That's what's the scroll at the bottom. So dealers know what table to go to next. We are in the same boat. Not a dumb question. Oh, pretty, pretty low over here. Taking on water. He'll be folding this one. ETO says. <laughs> and Exploitative says I'm very happy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and... I almost shot you. 
I would have found a fold there. <laughs> Believe it or not, three high is uh, not in my calling range. <laughs> Most of the time. Four players have already been eliminated. Five remain. Doesn't want to go. <laughs> Under the gun, open from Andy. Three, four, five, six diamonds for all players. These two players are most aggressive players remaining out of the players. An advantage, Andy, with double the chips than Bill, and he takes it down. <clears throat> Approaching the first break of the FT in about 23 minutes. This is the last level before break, so nobody hits and runs this stream, folks. You know the drill. Once we get to break, you'll have 15 minutes for your snacks, bathroom breaks, Maybe even do a little bit of work, homework, whatever. But then everybody reports back until we crown a winner of the mini monster. You know, we're approaching 3K in chat. 4 p.m. Central Time. Hello. Rick goes all in with some Broadway cards. Bill with the same Broadway cards, but we'll lay it down. Andy with 50 million in chips and a king in his hand. Makes the call, wow. Andy, trying to eliminate a player for about six big blinds. This is for Rick's tournament life. Hoping that his king five would be live. It is not. Dominated and crushed. Rick in great shape. Needs to fade the five. There's the five. It's Open ender for Rick. Four or nine. <laughs> What a sweat. Or queen. Ace, nine, or queen. Wow. Yeah, man. Nice right. man. And Andy gambles. Pays off. Rick eliminated. Right. Hey, guys. In fifth place for scale. about 29000 Everybody now guaranteed an additional $8,000. Next pay sign ahead is 37.7. Andy feeling the flow. And the chairmanator right behind. Look, out of the way, sir. <laughs> out of the way. We have four remaining, Rick, starting to drop at a rapid pace. It's the greatest job ever. We just sit here and you make us money. <laughs> we got about 20 minutes remaining. You see the, now it's starting to get some really serious money. Fourth place, 37,788. Third place, 47,000. Second place, 63.9, and first place, 112,000. This is a $200 buy-in tournament, folks. 5,256 entries.
Prize pool over 840. Thank you, Ricky Hirsch, for the super chat. Starting a Slick and Skull fan club. It's already got one in Australia and the Netherlands. Don't have one here in the States. Poobah shows up in chat. Three cheers for Poobah. Joe Strazera, the general manager of the lodge. Yeah, 500. Yet another, I mean, I've, you stop, you, you get a little numb to the fact that we put on all these great series and events and they go off flawlessly. Well, there's a lot of people that make that happen. And Joe Strazera is the general manager in charge of making everything run smooth. Sorry, I missed it. What happened? Oh, what's so this? Forehanded, it's half aim. Is, is it just that way for the final table, or is it supposed to be that way it's the whole tournament? All tournaments, all tournaments. Well, uh, all tournaments I do it. Tournament final table, okay. I've, I've been at tables where the dealer forgets, so I have to get reminded. I'd be glad he remembered, except I got to walk. <laughs> Do that. I'm keeping the candy cane. Ace Clown, players can discuss a chop on a break, but once they come back, they can't rediscuss till the next break. And there have been no discussions as of now. So we are playing it out. 50 hands in. Big blind Annie cut in half now. 500, 1 million 500 when it gets down to four. When it gets heads up, no big blind Annie, and Bill, Cl Bill goes all in in the quick fold. So two million every orbit is going in play. When it gets heads up, we drop the big blind Annie. Jacket man on fumes right now. About four and a half big blinds. The jiggities for Mike. All in. All in from Bill. Let's see what he has. Graphics trying to catch up. He's got ace 10. Trouble. Mike has him covered. We'll be calling this. This is about Bill's sixth or seventh jam in the last three orbits. We're going to need to hit a miracle ace in Camp Bill. Otherwise, another regular here, Mike, plays a lot of one-two. Everybody's up out of their seats, except for Mike. Looks around like, why are you all standing, guys? 46 million. Huge pot. pot. Ace for Bill, or it's over. Picks up a three. Yeah, ace or a three. Bill looking for an ace or a three. There's, There's the, the ace. ace! Bill is now amongst the chip lead. The he ace and Andy. of clubs for one of the luckiest and nicest men to ever walk, set foot in the lodge, Mr. Bill Cox. <laughs> inches away from the Terminator and now sitting on 46.3. The ace from for space. 46 million. What a move. Mike is stunned. A little bit wobbly. And Bill sits back down like he was expecting it the entire time. Who runs better than Bill? 
Good two. And then Mikey gets it in way good with Jax. Not even a flip. Bill, who has more framed pictures of himself at the lodge than he does at his own home because of all the tournaments he's won. That's but this one would be the largest. That's and what a time to hit the miracle ace at the final table, table as Clayton breaks it down. One, two, three, four, five. Crazy pot there. One, two, three, four, five. You want to proof that? It was a lucky catch. That's poker. <laughs> the old that's poker is mentioned. <laughs> and I win the button too. <laughs> Look at the chip counts now. Bill now with 46 big blinds. Andy way out in front and David on fumes. Mr. Jacketman, put that jacket on, David. Use your superpower. Oh, we're going to be seeing the jacket on shortly because Popeye would crack open that spinach right about now. The chips will be in soon for L Jacket. Bill with some Broadway cards and a ton of chips on the button. Yeah, Bill, aggressive without the chips, now that he has the oh. chips, won't be slowing down anytime soon. I want action this time. Want some action? Look at Andy. Going to battle here with the dirtiest of diapers. Just makes the call with the three deuce. Probably thinks that David might be getting the chips in right now and wants a better all chance right. at eliminating a yep. player. I think he just said all in. David did rip, so he'll be he's probably up out of his seat. There he goes. Jacket's on, Rick. Much. Bill will make the call as will Andy. Can Jacket Man survive? For a triple up, he's in the lead. Shit. Oh, two pair for Bill. And he checks. Gunshot shot now for Andy. And David could hit a five or an ace. You got it. I have a pair. Oh. Eight. Jacket man, perhaps into the cold Austin night. Can he hit the five or the ace just like Bill did? Looking for an ace from space? Does not come. Good game, guys. And David, guys, Jacket that. Man, is eliminated. I'm not betting unless I have it. <laughs> what an incredible down. run he had, finishing really fourth. He I, 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 I hate for you to have a set uh, at the, oh, the river. As he takes off the I jacket, the leaving the studio. The, oh, it's back on. That jacket needs to go into the Lodge Livestream Hall of Fame. As the chair, look at the chair lineup from the Chairmanator. Oh, that's a beautiful line of chairs. Payouts now. I mean, we're, we haven't even gotten to the first break, folks. Down to three. And if I had to pick three players pre-stream to be the final three, I would have picked these three. Two of the chip leaders early on, so that's not rocket science. But Bill, as aggressive as he plays and a lot of final table experience on his home court, you'd expect him to be here as well. So we're down to three. For Just the dollar dollar bills. Ten minutes away from our first break of the day. We, we might not even get there, Rick. Who yeah. knows? We started the stream two hours ago. We will break for fifteen minutes.
Everybody with some chips now. <clears throat> Three point two thousand people watching right now. Y'all love the tournaments. We know you do. We're gonna bring you two more this weekend on Friday and Saturday. You'll be seeing some tournament action. Thursday, another cash game. That's the schedule this week, 3 p.m. Central. Four million. Four million from Andy with Ace Jack offsuit. There's the fold from Bill. So two million chips, every three hands have to be put in the middle. And we're eight minutes from the first break. Andy with 58 million chips. There's a queen for Andy. The no look king in chat says, I should have come to Austin to play in this tournament. It was on the calendar. You're a slacker, no look king. But we forgive you, and we're running this tournament back in just a couple of months. So you have a second chance. Don't blow it this time. Mike with just a king. Giving the old stare. And lays it down. No look, king. This is for you, buddy. You love this tournament? We do, too. We're running it back. March. 15th through the 25th, same exact tournament, same exact guarantee. Let's see if we can get over 840000 in the prize pool on, in March. I think we can. How about you? If you want to play on the Lodge live stream, here's how you do it. Skull. Yeah, hit me up on the socials, folks, at Skull Mike Poker, or visit the lodgepokerclub.com. There's a questionnaire, usually filling for cash games. Obviously, if you want to be on the stream for the tournament, you've got to run good. Run like Bill, Mike, or Andy. You can find yourself here. We can make you a star like Jacket Ban. Yeah. But always looking for more cash players at all sorts of stakes. So reach out to me when you plan a trip to Austin and you want to come visit the Lodge. Yeah, three big series. We got the Spring and Fall Mayhem and then the flagship. The ultimate series is the Lodge Championship Series. We run once a year and then... Mini monsters scattered throughout, and of course, two tournaments at least every single day at the Lodge. Tournament Central. Blind on blind violence, Bill. We'll take that one down. And final table, Kev. There he is. Good afternoon, guys. He's back. 
We wave goodbye to the tallest dealer in the country. He'll be back. There's your chip counts. Was that a half marathon you ran yesterday? Yeah, yeah. Nice. Congrats. Thank you, thank you. Wasn't my most uh, trained one, but we got through it, you know? Yeah. Glad it wasn't today. A shitty day to day. <laughs> Horrible. Lots Championship Series, April 24th through May 14th, usually right before the World Series of Poker out in Vegas. So make plans. If you're going out there to stop by the lodge first to build up that bankroll. Ace nine suited for Mike. Short handed, short stacked against the chip leader's aggression in Andy to 2.5. Mike will elect for a three bet to six. Replaying. Not quite sure that was enough. Still giving Andy a so good price to continue. Two, four, six. I think I would have preferred jamming there. Probably about 13 million behind the six. Come on. And Andy, four bet, rips it in with ace three. And Mike lays down. The ace nine. So a nice aggressive move from Andy getting Mike to fold the better ace. And now Mike is down to 13 million. So Andy and Bill with the pedal to the metal. Mike is going to need to shift gears and double up if he wants to survive and be our champion. Sick little four bet there from Andy. If Mike's the one the three bet jam that one before Andy even has his opportunity, the hand would have been over. But Andy steals another one and now looks down at King Jack off on the button. Three million. Makes it three. three million. Bill with nine ten here. Yeah, but these these pay jumps are serious. You know, Bill really is all gas, no breaks, but He's got a wide separation from Mike's stack, so I don't want Bill to lose his mind and go kamikaze and send all these chips to Andy before Mike has his time in the sun. Be pretty brutal for Bill to get eliminated in third place here at this current juncture. Andy top pair rifles in another bet and takes down another one. I know it's not Friday, but... Give him a little graphic there for the 3K in chat. We do on fire Fridays, where if you win a certain number of hands in a row, you're on fire and you receive a bounty. But I mean, Andy, running pure right now at the FT, one minute, 15 seconds away from break. And then everybody's going to report back here in about 15 minutes for the conclusion and a champion. All in. Six is all in. With King 10. Andy with Queen Jack. Any count? Sure. Asking for a count. He's made some loose calls for a chance to eliminate players in the past and has binked those special cards that he needs. This is a close one here. You're good. I call. Calls. There's the call. So here we go. We got them. 26 million chip pot. Mike in the lead. But Andy totally live. Or stand behind me. One or the other. <laughs> Bill is asked to sit down, blocking the camera with that new hairdo of his. There's a jack in the window. And a 10 for Mike. King, King or a 10. King or a 10 or else Mike is done. 
and we're going on break after this hand. It's, Com it's over. Coming back to some heads up poker. 26 million, 350. We're on break. And third place is going to pay 47,039 for Mike. Great effort. And what a perfect time for a break. As we've seen Big E, Roger, Andrew, Naveen, Rick, David, and Mike all get eliminated before the first break. Heads up poker for 112.9. No discussion of any chops. We're going to get the table set, probably yeah. rearrange the players, maybe get the trophy in the room, but before, and then we're going to battle. Yeah, we, I want to talk to you, Mike, but first let's hear from our stream sponsor, Upswing Poker. What's up, guys? Doug Polk here with a quick story for you. Seven years ago, I founded Upswing Poker to create the best training course material out there. The result was the Upswing Lab. Unlike other subscription poker courses, the lab teaches you step-by-step step how to become the best player at the table. When you join the lab, you don't just get thrown into a sea of videos. Instead, you get structured lessons that teach you crucial poker strategies that will help you win in No Limit Hold'em games, whether it's cash games or tournaments, both online and live. Whether you're a beginner or an advanced poker player, the lab has what you need to take your game to the next level. As a Lodge viewer, you can get $50 off the Upswing Lab with coupon code LODGE50. The course is backed by Upswing Poker's all-in 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk on your end to join the lab. If you're serious about improving your game, head on over now to upswingpoker.com, join the lab, and use coupon code LODGE50 to save $50 now. Looking forward to seeing you guys in the lab. So, let's set the table for you. This tournament had 24 day one flights. It was a $200 buy-in, 5,256 entries. The initial prize pool, 840,960. We did have some payouts, day one payouts. So in other words, you could still make some money and not go to day two. Those were the day one payouts, and we also gave some bag bonuses. The day one payouts were $123,750, and the bag bonuses $2,550, which let a day two pay, pay price pool of $714,660. We guaranteed four hundred k in the prize pool. That was what we guaranteed. The players decided they didn't like that guarantee of 400 k They wanted double, over double what that was, and that's what happened. And we're going to run it back, as we mentioned, the March Mini Mantra, the same exact tournament. You guys love it? It's going to come back March 15th through the 25th. Let me tell you about a few other things coming your way. Let's start this Saturday, the Art of Poker Happens every single month at the Lodge, a Lodge tradition since the early days of the Lodge in 2018. $250 buy-in, guaranteeing $40,000 in the prize pool. That's coming this Saturday. Then, following, I believe Thursday of next week, the Wacky Weekend of Poker. What is the Wacky Weekend of Poker? It's several tournaments between 200 and 400 buy-in, so very affordable tournaments, but they're not just the run-of-mill hold'em tournaments. They're tournaments like Deuces Wild, like a, an all-bomb pot tournament. How about an all-knit game tournament? Blood River, which is something interesting. If the river is a red card, you get a sixth board card. All fun games. The Wacky Weekend of Poker coming your way February 1st through 4th. So it's on a Thursday, Rick. So it's, you know. Yes. Is it really the Wacky Weekend is the yeah. question. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know. Jerky King enters chat. Might be a good time for the yes. beef jerky, TKO jerky hand of the night. Let's do that. In honor of Jerky King's entry into chat, let's look at today's TKO jerky hand of the night. Bill and Mike. Jacks versus Ace-10 for $46.3 million. 
and Bills Tournament Life up out of his seat. Bill looking for the ace from space or the wheel card, the three. There's the ace. And Mike shakes his head in disbelief. And Bill, 46.3 million chop. Jacket Man sits back down. And that is the TKO Jerky Hand of the Night. Hey, I've got a bag of TKO Jerky right next to me. It is the Applewood Hot, but they come in three spice levels, mild, hot, and Lord have mercy. I'm telling you, I believe in this product. I eat the product. I, I told the Jerky King that I'm even using it when I'm really hungry and I just need to pick me up during my weight loss. I pop a piece of jerky in, and there you go. TKO Jerky, for more information, use code LODGE15 and get your discount. The best jerky you could ever taste. He really does have two packs right next to him right now. You even have chopsticks. You're going in there with the chopsticks. Get your hands dirty, Rick. Lick your fingers a little bit. Taste that sweet, hot spice. Andrew Nimi pops in the chat. You just never know who's going to hop into our chat. Andrew's due for another visit to the lodge. I mean, we just had Brad here for a number of weeks. When's Andrew coming back for a little PLO madness? Andrew, always good to see you. Says jerky licious. There you go. Eight and a half minutes till the conclusion here. I'm getting word that the players arrive back to the table a little bit earlier than that. So maybe about six minutes or so away from cards in the air and a potential six figure payout for one of these two gentlemen. Who's it going to be, Chad? Bill or Andy? Andy's got heaps. Dirty Dan chimes in. Bill, not chopping. No, we're playing this one out. And even if Bill ends up in second place, 64,000, not too shabby from where he was positioned. And he's been the most aggressive. These two players have been the most aggressive on what's been a timid table overall. So they've picked their spots wisely. It's kind of like a prize fight, you know, when you're fighting for the belt. You feel each other out for the first couple of rounds. And then you start making your moves late. And these two gentlemen have definitely done that, getting rewarded for their efforts. A nice bag, a nice payout from a $200 buy-in. These are the payouts we are looking at. That's pretty special. And the Lodge takes a lot of pride in being special. And here we are. We heard one player may have bought in 29 times. That is how the prize pool can get up there. Rick. It wasn't me. Tell the people. Stop lying to the people. It was not me. You've been here every day for three weeks. You were firing those bullets. I, I saw you walk up to the cage. I saw you walk back to the tournament area. Were you just taking your steps? Is that part of the process? Or were you firing bullets? I fired one bullet. Should have fired more, but fired one. Andrew Nimi says he will be here at the Lodge for the Deuces Wild Tournament. It is calling his name, Andrew Deuces Wild Nimi. Let's just shorten it to Deuces. Andrew Deuces Nimi. Getting word that Jacket Man won't be buying us new jackets for the wintertime. He had to win the tournament, but he did leave the jacket behind for the Lodge Poker Hall of Fame. No, no it's kind of like the Masters. The, the winner of this tournament will get the jacket. Get the jacket. I don't know. <laughs> not sure if he signed it or not. But the jacket will remain at the Lodge. Six minutes away from cards in the air. Folks, if you have any questions about the Lodge or Skull or myself... We'd be glad to answer them during this break. We're just going to power through. we got about four minutes, I think, till they get back If, if Bill wins this, I wasn't lying. We're, there's post-game party. <laughs> you think I'm joking? Uh, hey, I'm all in. I'm all good for a, a party. Good. $121,001 bills. I heard, that, <laughs> I heard they serve a mean steak over there. I know. You're just into the lunch these days, but maybe yeah. we go there for a little steak dinner. <laughs> I, you, you could twist my arm. I could twist your armor. They could be twisting of arms, and not by me. Five minutes. Who's taking this one down? Bill, behind. Andy has a, a decent chip lead on him, so Bill's going to need to win a couple all-ins. 
before we start thinking about the after party. Andy's been playing pretty well himself, so he's, it's not going to be an easy out. Andy, a favorite right now to be our champion. Yeah, I'm, I, I, like, I like Bill for a lot of reasons. The experience factor, but also he's just it, it, I, I believe something's going for him to this weekend. I, I, I really think he's got something behind him, and uh, I'm going with Bill for the win. No offense to Andy. Whoever, you know, somebody's going to, they're both going to walk out of here at least with 63-9. What do we know? I don't know too much about Andy. Do we have any uh, intel I did not, on the man? Anybody in chat who knows about Andy, chime in, because I do not have much info on Andy. I get about two minutes to go around the table and, and uh, try to get info, but I missed Andy. Lou Elvis in chat. Appreciate everybody. Let's give it up for Yoda and VW Bug, the greatest moderators in the business. Players are coming back a little bit early, so we're just a minute or two away from them coming back. I see Dream Spill in chat. Thank you, Bob Casey Ariel. Always good to see you, one of the original viewers of this. If you're new to the stream, we've been going on for about three hours and a few, uh, three, three years and a few months. Hundreds and hundreds of live streams. Steve, again, incorrect. There's 840. I'll explain it one more time. 5,256 entries, paying $200 each. There was a initial prize pool of 840,960. We had day one payouts, meaning some people who finished well in day one but didn't bag for that was day me. two. I got $400 for that. Got paid. That was 123,750. And the double bag bonus is another 2500 So coming into day two, 714660 remained from the original 840960 So that's the math. Want to give a special shout-out to the production staff, as always, the best in the business. Skull Mike and I get to be in the front seat of this. But so many people work so hard right in the next room behind us to make it look easy. So thank you to the production and all of the employees here that work at the lodge, from the management to the employees. And here they are, back about a minute 40 early. Got plaques in play now, too, it looks like, in front of Andy Stack. See those blue plaques. Chip counts. About a two-to-one favorite is Andy. 91.6 to 46.7. Cards back in the air. Bill, a little cold. This is the blue job's work. Puts on his Run Good Lodge hoodie. Lego says the plaques are Wonka bars. I like that. Good overhead view. Always X first free. Always small ball. Plaques are five million. Candy cane, those white and red ones, those are one million. The purple ones, five hundred thousand. And the red chips, 100,000. Those are the values. Thank you for hanging out with us through the break.
Next break, not for another two hours. Bill did a complete wardrobe change. Yep. Pretty shocking when you've been running so good this afternoon to do a, a complete change. New hoodie, new hat. Ten million. Ten million. And Bill will take down the pot. You see, Andy, eighty nine million, Bill, forty nine million. Yeah, one pot, though. One all in, and the seesaw flips. So this is not over by any means. Although Andy in good position to be our champion, but Bill not going to make it easy. And not going to play 4-3 off into the muck. I ain't going to lie, Bill's hoodie is fire. Looking good, Bill. More for? Call. There's the call. Seven calls. The range opens tremendously at heads up. There's a jack for Andy. Bill going to lead. Eight. Quick raise from Andy with top pair, and Bill will lay it down. We got rid of any Annie. So it's just big blind, small blind now, once we're heads up. Still 600K, 1.2 million, the blind levels. Raises to 2.4. Andy now 97 million, more than a two to one advantage over Bill. Putting the pressure on. Queens for Bill will open the action. Just calls. Trapping here, 1.2. Yeah. Puts in the call with the Queens. And a pair for Andy. Hard to make heads up, so 
Hot could build here. Neither player with a club. Bill not thrilled to see that king. And especially in a limp pot here, don't see Andy folding whatsoever. Might even elect to raise. But he makes the call for $2 million with his pair of nines. Ace on the turn. Run out getting even sicker for a pair of ladies. Plenty of draws, two overs to your queens. Andy not ready to throw his nines into the muck yet. Makes the call. Imagine this river goes check, check. Check, seven, check. And Bill will survive with his pair of queens. Big pot there for him. Every pot now critical. Folks in chat, let us know what you think the last hand will be. We're on hand number 70. How many hands do you think it'll take to finish this off? Let us know in chat your guess. I'm prepared to be here all night if needed, but the way these two guys play... I don't think it's going to be too long. Not a surprise that Bill's favorite holiday is the 4th of July, because this man is fireworks. Big slick for Andy. And there's the call with 8-5 suited from Bill. Back to Andy. He raises to 3.6 million. Getting a lot of interesting guesses there. Bill with an ace. Andy, 9, 10. 2.4. 2.4. 2.4. All in from Bill. He's going to shut it down. Andy will. See Andy kind of just fall back into his chair oh, sorry. when Bill announces all in. Like, oh, God. Damn. Andy said 2.4, but yeah. didn't put it. 2.4 out there, so yeah, Kevin. His, his little shook there. It was like body shot. Great shot of Bill, a huge fan of the Texas Longhorns. Me and him commiserate sometimes and high-five each other sometimes after the wins and losses. Trying to carve in to that massive chip lead a little at a time. The little pots matter, Rick. Thin down that gap. Win a couple medium-sized pots. And then you know the all-ins here are coming shortly. Three. Another ace for Bill in the lead. Queen five for Andy. All in. And all Bill's, in. Bill's just ripping these aces. You want to raise every button? I'm going to re-jam right back at you. Takes it down pre. Going to hand number 75. 
want to thank our three dealer rotation, final table Kev, Clayton, the tallest dealer in the country, and the pride of Ukraine, Anastasia, once again showcasing some of the best dealers in the country right here at the Lodge live stream. Open ender here for Andy. Three. Two bets, three million. Quest Sports Cards has a huge following for Bill. Cha, Kyrene, Alana all cheering Bill on. Hmm. That sounds pretty nice. He's got more than that cheering him on. Watch parties all over town. Andy, though, in the lead. 5-4 diamonds. It's going to raise the button once again. Gives a quick glance to Bill like, please don't jab in my face again, please. Let me see a flop, and we do indeed see the flop. We'll draw for Andy. Seven checks. 2.5. Headed to hand number 77. Blind 600,000, 1.2 million. Anthony Chester, tournament director extraordinaire. Another job well done for this tournament. There you see chip counts. Andy and the graveyard. Andy with a two to one chip lead. I'd like to be in that graveyard, though. Not I, a bad place to be. I mean, you're just dead for a day and then you're reborn again tomorrow with a bunch of cash. I mean, Jacket Man has an autograph signing tomorrow. Don't At the mall? I don't think he's ever going back to work again. Yeah, Hugo Boss. Burlington Coat Factory. He's going to be taking some <laughs> pictures. One of these two guys might be on the 6 o'clock news, though, with the trophy. And that's really where you want to be. Andy and Bill. Final table, Kevin, true to his name. And the Chairmanator, Kent. Forget her in the background does a great job as always. Safi, Mickey, our game hosts. And Brittany. The Grabs threes. for Andy. Here we go, folks. This one could be a big one. Some Broadway cards for Bill. Bill has ripped many times here. What is he going to do? Goes for a raise. Quick raise, not for all of it. Six million. And a quick call. And we're going to see a flop. We haven't seen a flop in a several hands here. That's what happens during heads up. Eight point four million in the skillet. Oh, I thought he, I thought he had already made the call. He'll make the call. There you go. For some reason, I thought he called.
Marvel. Open rips the king high here. Three bets to six million, and then just over bets his entire stack. Forty one million. My goodness gracious, the open rip here. Andy gonna be in the absolute blender with threes here, like Bill takes these untraditional, uncharacteristic lines that you're not used to. And it works out a lot of the time for him. If he makes this call, 40, he is the chip leader. If, if he wins, he's got to hold. Still, Bill with the overs, and he's been running hot at the final table. But still, Andy needs to make a decision if he wants to call off here with a pair of threes. Not so easy. Might elect to pick a better spot. Still a large chip leader here, but kind of playing Bill's game at the moment. And you got that feeling like things are starting to turn. And Bill the one that's more comfortable with his eyes on the trophy and his first place prize money. 40 million, what was it? 40 million, 900,000. Can Andy make this call? And then hold? Or will he lay it down and we'll be on the hand number 81? Time will tell. Well, Folds. Makes the fold. Bill, King High. Take it down, sir. Andy left to think about what could have been. You can look it up on the stream, bro, just like Tara says. But can't, can't fault Andy there for laying it out. It's an extremely tough spot with, with threes. But who open rips there? What a savage. Heads up. This guy's been playing for a number of days. Doesn't give a crap. All in. 53 million. King high. And we play on. Boy, Rogers was carried. <laughs> what do you always say about Mo Money, Rick? You say Mo Money is a savage. Bill Cox is a savage. Same school. They went to the same school. Yeah, graduated same year. Oh, yeah. Bill Cox not in the 69 Olympics, though. 68. Bill Cox actually might be in the 69 Olympics, not the 68. And Turtle, I don't want to hear him, but I hear him all the time. False. Headed to hand number 83. Bill in Andy's head for sure. Will there be a mistake or a cooler ahead? Both players with a king here. 3.6. Andy's is suited. King comes here on this flop, we could see fireworks. No king. Two checks. Seven checks. Two checks. Seven bets, four million. Another one for Bill, who's been dominating this heads-up showdown since the return of Rake. Roger and Anastasia, the pride. Roger not tanking in his conversation with Anastasia. He knows exactly what he wants to say there. He was asking for a count. Good one. Oh. And he raises the button like he's been doing this entire time. 
Bill will defend here, 7-6. Ooh, two pair for Andy. Open ender for Bill. All in. All in. Open rips it again. Andy won't be folding the 5-4. We'll think about it for a moment, but you are not folding two pair heads up, especially after Bill has made this move a number of times. He makes the call. Cards on their back. Could be over right now unless Bill spikes an eight or a three. Open ender for Bill. Two pair for Andy for oh, Bill's tournament life. Can I stand up? <laughs> Bill wants to stand up. Let the man stand up. He's earned it. There's the eight. No waiting. For the straight, and he sits back down, all in comfort, needs to fade a four or five. And he does. Bill Cox now with the commanding chip lead. 113 million chip pot on hand number 84. The eight of diamonds on the turn. No waiting. This man will not die. This is his card room. He's been playing here since day one, and he is blessed in the studio. Under the lights. 5-4. It was going in no matter what on the turn. Even if we just slow played that and saw a cheaper turn card, it was all going in. Yeah. But he gets it in with a massive overbet on the flop and the eight of diamonds right to the gut of Andy, and he's on the ropes. Bill Cox, 7 6. 4 5 6 7 8. The straight that he'll remember for quite some time. And Bill is in fuego now. Final table. Kevin pushing a humongous pot. The biggest pot of the tournament goes Bill's way. Hand number 85. And now, a four and a half to one chip lead. Fair. Bill over Andy. Chat absolutely popping off right now as we are over 3K. Thank you all for joining us. We do this four times a week. We're going to be back on Thursday this week for some cash. But right now, Bill with pocket kings and ace for Andy. This could be it, Rick. And he just calls. He's trapping. Andy likely to take the bait and jam. I call. He does jam. Quick call from Bill. This and is, Andy's in trouble. This is for the trophy right here. If Bill can hold and fade the ace, he will win 112935 and be the champion of the mini monster tournament. Final table, Kev, will give us three. And he needs an ace. Or running hearts. You can feel the tension. There's a heart. Picked up a bunch of outs. Needs a heart or an ace. And it's over. Bill Cox. Hey, man. Nice, nice. Slams the table, Bill Cox. That feels good. Six figures. What a comeback. How much run good does one man have? Bill Cox celebrates. Andy, well played. Mike, David, Rick, Naveen, Andrew, Roger, Big E all showed up to the final table, but Bill survives and wins 112, 935, and the trophy. Couldn't happen to a nicer guy. Bill has had a tough, tough year. Yes, he was dealing and, with some family stuff. Yeah. Like, always shows up here at the lodge with a smile. He's always kind to the staff, and we are happy for him. Yes. And we'll be seeing him on Friday, likely, in the Road to the LCS, the Sit and Go series. So he will be playing on Friday. Yeah. We, we I think may we do have a. Yeah, we, we may. might have a special guest here for a couple of moments. Let's kind of bring. I see the champion. He's coming into the booth. I'm going to let Rick you yeah. talk to him for a second. I'll give him my headset. Yeah, Bill. We're going to have Bill uh, talk to us for a minute. And uh, 
Talk about the incredible run. Have a seat there, Bill. Thank you. Bill Cox, the champion of the Mini Monster, $112,000. Feels good. Feels great. You've had a, a tough year, and I know this one means a lot to you. And uh, we were all cheering for you, man. You, 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 Thank you. I'm about to break up. <laughs> yeah, don't, I don't mean to break you up there, but, Bill, let's talk about the tournament. It, it really turned on a couple hands, and then at the end, you're hitting that eight ball from space for the, for the straight. But it was, it was a key hand against Mike that really turned the tides for you. Yes, it was. Uh, the straight, I didn't, I, of course, I didn't put him on two pair. Right. And I didn't even put him on an ace because, you know, I said, shoot, I'm, I'm good, and I got outs. And so I just shoved. Absolutely. And uh, I got lucky. Well, Bill, we've said it throughout the tournament. You are uh, so loved here at the Lodge. Your face is up uh, as a picture. You know, we used to put tournament winners, we used to take their picture, put it on the wall. You have more pictures here at the Lodge than you do at home of yourself. I don't think I have any of myself at home. <laughs> <laughs> The Lodge is your home, Bill. So right, many aggressive yeah. lead-outs. You were leading out for some massive overbets and really putting your opponents in such difficult spots. A number of the time you were behind, but that aggression, they could just not call it off. So what was the strategy with that? You weren't really thinking about ICM, really just playing for that trophy and the first-place payout from the start, right? Yeah, I felt I played with several of these players, and I felt like I knew how a bunch of them played. And some of them were just either overly loose or overly tight. And uh, I thought I'd uh, step on the I, gas a little step bit. Step on the gas when they were uh, tight and uh, go over the top of them when I felt like they were playing a loose hand. Yeah, that's really what I was feeling as well. Both you and Andy, the second place finisher, were by far the most aggressive at the final table. And you were rewarded with your finishes. So here we're going to take a little picture of you there with the trophy, the winning hand. And the hook hand. horns sign. There's How about it. them horns, Bill Cox? Go horns, go, <laughs> buddy. Bill, what about the uh, – I'm hearing murmurs around the, uh, the lodge already about this after party. What's going on? <laughs> What's the plan for the after party? Uh, I'll send out invitations probably tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. I'll be keeping an eye on my, uh, my mailbox. All right. Bill Cox, the winner of the Mini Monster, 112000 Bill, no stranger to tournament wins here at the Lodge. He is a crusher, one of the most well-liked players we have here at the Lodge. Couldn't be happy for you, buddy. Thank you so much. Uh, hook em horns and... Bill, we'll see you on Friday. My biggest win ever. Your biggest win ever. That's yeah. fantastic. We're going to get you in on Friday in that second round of the uh, Road to the LCS sit-and-go. That's great. So Thank maybe you. after that, Friday night could be the night for the after party. There, Keep there, an eye on the well, mailbox. I got to win the uh, Art of Poker Saturday God, after that. We we take go. A, go. take a day off. That. Celebrate. Life is short. <laughs> for, for everybody here at the Lodge, we are so happy that the Mini Monster in the books, record turnout, 5,256 entries, and one left standing, Mr. Bill Cox, the man himself. Take care, everybody.